If you want accurate information to help you stay efficient and not miss a detail as you are setting up your Kajabi site or double checking that you've set it up correctly, then this is the video for you. As part of a series, make sure to hit subscribe and be notified when the next video comes out. I'm Tamson Horton and I have been helping thousands of business owners just like yourself for over a decade. Make sure that their site, their business is all zipped up so that all your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted. Now, as you're setting up your site or double checking that you've done it correctly, we're gonna start with site details. There are seven sections. We're gonna go through them sequentially. If you wanna jump ahead, all of the timestamps are listed right below this video. All right, so as I say, I have a checklist for anything and everything. In fact, it's a running joke in PBK that, mm, there's a checklist for that. So we are gonna start off on setting up your new Kajabi site or very importantly, making sure that the one you have running is properly set up and you haven't missed any sections. We are gonna start with the checklist and we are going to run through them. Do not feel the need to reinvent the wheel and you don't even wanna guess, oh, did I get everything? Did I remember to do it? I use my own checklists and PBKers all over the globe love these checklists. So let's dive in to site details. So first off, you will see me mentioning North Pole to New York City. That is my lingo that has unified entrepreneurs worldwide, where we have an easy way of communicating with each other in terms of what is your read magnet? What is your lead magnet? Where do your offers fall? Because we all have different business models. So when you hear me referencing North Pole to New York City, you can always check out that video if you are curious. Okay, so we're gonna dive into the checklist. The first place we're gonna start, like I said, is under site details. So from your Kajabi dashboard, we're gonna start with the general sections. So the general sections are listed right here. So let's go over to Kajabi and we're gonna work through each of these. So on your Kajabi site, go into settings, which is in the lower left-hand corner. When you pull this up, you will see site details. Now, site details has a few different sections. We're taking general first. Here is where you will set the title of your site. Now, you can absolutely change this, so please don't stress out over what you're gonna name your site. You are not forever, um, we'll say tattooed, you know, this is not a permanent tattoo. This is a temporary tattoo. You can change it. So the first thing you want to do is give a title to your site. Once you have that done, we're going to check that one off the list. Next, we're going to move down into the subdomain. So the subdomain, when you're setting this up, for the initial time is gonna populate based on the title. You can see here that mine is called PBK Test Site. This is so I don't break my regular site when we are playing around with things. And when you are ready to turn on your custom domain, for instance, my custom domain is tamsonhorton.com. I bought that at GoDaddy. GoDaddy is where all of the DNS records are for that domain. And I clicked on manage domain. And then here you can go through the steps when you're ready to set up your custom domain. Kajabi will walk you through each and every one of those steps. That is when you are setting up your subdomain. So we're gonna go back into site details that was subdomain. So again, we're just using the same checklist, one thing after the other. Support email. Now, support email, Kajabi does not have inbound email. So when we send an email out via the marketing tab or via a product announcement, when someone replies to that email, this is the email address that it is going to go to. 
I use Google Business Suite, so that is my email address. Feel free, you can email me anytime. When I send an email out of Kajabi, any replies that come back, I access those by going into my Google Business Gmail Suite, and when I reply to their initial reply, it does not come from Kajabi, it comes from this support email address. So that you can set, and again, you can change this anytime. It's not a permanent tattoo. Your support phone number. So let's pop in here, let's make sure, yep, we're doing the email. Sometimes I for even forget, I gotta remind myself, go through the checklist. Support phone number, you can put in your phone number. You can also leave this blank. At this time, I'm not 100% sure where this number is populating at all. I happen to use Google Voice, and this is a free service, and it will give you a unique phone number, but it can ring on your dedicated cell phone or a dedicated landline. So Google Voice is a great way to have a phone number but not be giving out a number that you might not want available to the public. So that is your phone number. And I'm gonna make sure I hit save down here. You do wanna do that periodically, just so you don't forget and pop off of the tab. So let's get that out of the way. Phone number. There we go. So those are the th sections that you're gonna take care of under general. Now we're gonna go into the next larger section, which is your homepage. So on Kajabi, if, after you finish general, you're gonna to come to your homepage. Now, the homepage section will have a few choices for you. You can show the store, which is a Kajabi site page designated as a store page. If you're brand new to Kajabi, or even if you're a veteran and you just need a little refresher, there's two kinds of pages in Kajabi. There are site pages, and they have certain rules, and there are landing pages, and they have different rules. So those are two different types of things. Store is a site page that is designated as a store. You can also show the library. So this is your login page, and I will quickly show you mine. So your login page is going to be whatever you have set as the domain name or the subdomain and followed by login. This page you can customize depending on what active website theme you have turned on. I know I'm throwing a lot of language at you. I just know that this is controlled by the active website theme that I have running on my active Tamsin Horton site. Here, you enter your information. So this is the login screen. And once they log in, this is going to prompt them and show them the library. So again, this is my library. Your library would be your domain slash library. And you can also customize this. It will have the look depending on what your active site theme is on your Kajabi page. So that is your site page. Now you're going to see my little message here. I do not use Kajabi site pages for my homepage. Those of us that have been around the block, no, never, ever, ever use the Kajabi homepage, that's a site page, as the homepage. There's a reason why some of you that are brand new, you're just gonna have to trust me or go watch it, go watch um, the video as to why, and I will link that now. Um, that is the template homepage, okay? So template homepage is the active site themes homepage for your site. It will back you into a corner. So 
You can always message me. You can always comment. I will gladly tell you why, but this video would get way too long. So you'll see I choose to show a landing page. This gives you incredible flexibility. It does not box you into a corner and you can change it easily. So this is the favored choice for many, 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 many Kajabians. And I am happy to spread the word so that you don't end up wasting your time and money and energy like some of us did many, many years ago. All right, next up is branding. So the branding section, let me make sure we check off that we did our homepage. Branding section is going to be your logo, your favicon and your colors. So if we go back into Kajabi, you can upload your image here under logo. Now this will pull into a few different places. The most notably being it does pull into um, certain email templates when you're sending those out. So I personally leave this blank on my site because I'm customizing it at the level of my emails that are going out and i just don't want it accident you know inadvertently popping up somewhere that i wasn't expecting so i do leave this area totally blank um, but you can absolutely add your logo there and you can also come back and do that anytime the favicon this is one that i do absolutely use and little quick tip if you are a canva lover like i am when you are making this in fact i'll show you in canva exactly what it ends up looking like so i just opened up canva very quickly to show you this in kajabi the image it says to use is a 32 by 32 i do not know why but if i do 32 by 32 it looks horrible but if you do 64 by 64, it looks fabulous. So in Canva, I do a 64 by 64 pixel, export it, upload it, and it ends up looking great. You can see it right here. There's a little circle PBK there, and there's a square PBK here. So if I do that at 32, it just gets very pixelated, but at 64, it's great. So. For those of you that are using Canva or if your favicon is not coming out looking like you want it to in 32 by 32, try 64 by 64 and see if that doesn't fix the issue. Now, the final piece is colors. So the color palette here, you can change this to your own colors. I highly recommend changing this to your own colors because then you're not constantly looking up, oh my goodness, what is my hex code color for this? This will pull into various sections throughout Kajabi. Easy, easy, easy to change. You click on the color and then you just go right in here and I can type in 173042, which is my navy blue. And when I hit enter, it changes it right there. So if I clicked on this yellow, just show you, put this one on here um, and you can put as many in as there are slots just like that so now your colors will be there you need to rest reset it you just click reset and it will go back to the way it was so that is a very easy thing to do and another quick little tip for those of you that might not understand all these crazy lingos that are being tossed around I didn't understand them all when I started 10 years ago. Uh, in Canva, if I click on the color, you can see here's the Preneur Business Club. These are the colors that I use for PBK. I can just hover over the color. That number that it gives me, that is the hex code number. So if I can hover on this green, you see it's 008,000. If I hover on the gold, it's C8. A 31D. So this number, 173042, that is a hex number. That is the number that when we're in Kajabi, that's what it's asking you for. So if you didn't know what that number is, I will save you a Google search. That is where you can find it. Okay, I'm always curious, are you team favicon, yes it matters, or are you team favicon, I never even noticed those things. Let me know in the comments below. 
All right, we have four more sections to take care of under site details. And the next one up is instructor. Now, this section is what I'll call a little misleading. So if you put information in here, it will pull into your product, but it only pulls into one area of the product. And there's another area that frustrates everyone to no end. It's called how do I change John Doe? I've linked the video above and you can check this out. It's one of the most frequently asked questions. So the reason I say this instructor area is misleading is because many of you want to put in different people on your blog as guest contributors, or you want to put different people in your products as the instructors for guest content. This section is just a default section. If you are the only person that you are the instructor for on your site, you can absolutely put this information in. It will pull in to the category now called the module product level for any products that you make in Kajabi. But I would present the um, idea for thought. If you're the only one selling they probably know who you are and you don't need to use this information. I repurpose this area of a product all the time. So it's here. You can absolutely upload your image. You can put in your name. You can put in your title. Again, temporary tattoos. You can always come through and change it back. But I, this is a section that honestly, there's way more strategic, beneficial things that I think you can do um, for this instructor image. So I personally leave it blank whenever I'm setting up a site. All right, page scripts. So if this sounds like more foreign language to you, don't worry. That is a completely familiar feeling to most of us. Um, if you know what page scripts are, then you likely know what to do with them. If you don't, you can just file this away in your memory banks. This is often a space where, for instance, if you're using a third party cookie tool, the cookie notification, it will ask you to put this code in the header script of your pages. So this is a spot that you can put this in. Now, for those of you that are on the Kajabi plan where you can edit your code, you can have targeted header scripts because you can edit the code on any page that you're using. But this is the slot for the universal header page scripts. A word of caution. If you take code and you put it into the page header scripts and then it suddenly is showing up everywhere and driving you crazy, that you are not alone. That happens to many, many people. The reason for that is it puts the code in every section of every page. So this is where the understanding of Kajabi site pages from Kajabi landing pages is very, very important because depending on how you're using them, you may want code to show up in one set, one site page area and not have it showing up on different landing pages that you're using. But more on that on a different video. This is where your page scripts can live. All right, SEO and social sharing. Now I am not an SEO expert, wouldn't claim to be one ever. However, I have learned enough quick I'll call them down and dirty tools over the last 11 years now. And I personally will use my SEO that I use on YouTube in terms of keyword research. I just pull that right on over to my Kajabi pages and to my Kajabi site details. So your page title, this is what's gonna show up if you or someone else were to share your site on social media, or if someone does a Google search and has that information pull up. You wanna keep it focused on your visitor. So words that would help them understand what it is that the, you know has just popped up into their you know visual frame of uh, viewing. 
And I, like I said, use what I've learned from Sunny Leonard Doozy with YouTube keyword research. So that is what I pull in. And I'll just give you a quick glimpse. Um, I happened to open up one of my SEO briefs for a YouTube video I did a while ago. And these right here, these tags, these are good keywords for me for that video. So if I was putting together my site SEO and social sharing, I would use the keywords that I have looked up and double checked and then I'll just pull them through. So again, you may be an SEO expert, you may have way better tactics than I do. By all means, feel free, point me in the direction of a great video you've done and I will gladly watch it. Um, you can also put in your image in terms of what the picture that you want uh, to show. Now, if you leave everything blank and you'd never fill this out, then depending on the page that you're sharing, that will then override. So I call this the digital rock, paper, scissors game. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with the kids game where you do rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and we know scissors cut paper, same type of a thing. If I share a page and I've filled out that information on a landing page and I've left the site page blank, it will override and fill that in. So sometimes when people are like, ah, I don't know where this weird gobbledygook came from, it came from the page that they never edited the default details on. So that is the SEO and social sharing. Again, temporary tattoos, you can change this anytime. All right, final section in this site details is Kajabi branding. Depending on the plan that you have for Kajabi, you can turn this on or off. If it is turned on as displaying the powered by Kajabi, that is your affiliate link. And if you turn on your affiliate link, which you can see over on the left-hand side, there's a Kajabi partners link, you can click that anytime and you can input your email address and you can sign up for Kajabi's affiliate program. They have a great affiliate program. Uh, in fact, if you're looking and checking out Kajabi, if you use my link, I have a very generous gift that I've done for many, many years for people checking out Kajabi. And I'm also the proud owner of the first Kajabi car that was ever given out. So it's a really great affiliate program if you um, want a little, you know, added benefit when you refer things that you love to other people. If you have the Kajabi plan and you do not want to turn that on, just slide it to off and you, um, the displayed by powered by Kajabi will disappear. But otherwise you can leave it on, make sure to go to the partner area and turn on the, um, yes, I'd like to be part of the affiliate program. And then you don't have to do anything else. So here, we're gonna click save after we've made all those changes. And that is what makes up site details. And I forgot, we gotta go back to our checklist right here. See, this is why I use this. I know it so well, I often forget to check things off. But if you have found this video helpful, if you would like access to these checklists, there are thousands of them that are perfectly tailored to your online business, not specific to Kajabi, then I invite you, check out PBK, the Preneur Business Club. We would be thrilled to have you join us. All right, got the next video all queued up for you. I can't wait to see you on the next one.